Before painting, I'm going to draw myself a preliminary pencil sketch. This enables me to explore and familiarise myself with the subject and develop it as a composition. The process generally takes three distinct stages. In this early first stage, I begin with simple shapes. Here I'm working out what shapes there are, how big or small they are and how they relate to each other. I'm using a 2B pencil, keeping my lines light should I need to overdraw and make corrections. You should allow your pencil to meander. Take your pencil for a walk is an expression I recently heard someone use which I like. Keep your pencil marks light and work gradually towards the darker tones, accentuating and asserting shapes as you go. So I'm now going to start shading in just in places and redrawing around some of these shapes. That's a really dark area there, so I'm going to shade that in there. And it's a good example of how and why tone is important to a picture. The darker a tone is, the lighter its neighbour will appear. I'm still reshaping things because the longer you look at a subject, the more you actually see. That needs to be a little bit lower there. I want to really accentuate this sort of drop of where the water's coming down. Yeah, this is quite a complex little shape here on this rock. I'm going to try and simplify it and I'm going to begin by shading in that large area there. There we go. See, the other thing about sketching is that it gives you the opportunity to actually understand the shape. So it's got to be darker there. Sketching then is all about the process of defining and redefining shapes and tones. Often when shading in I find things smudge slightly and I have to redraw sections just to clarify them. Most importantly Think about your pencil marks. Are they going to give you sufficient information to work from when you come to paint from it? Or are they going to confuse you? The quality of the sketch isn't really important. This isn't about trying to produce something of exhibition standard. It's about observing the subject, an exercise in information gathering and information filtering. Anything that helps make sense of it will be valuable. Here I'm simply writing rocks in the background as a form of shorthand to remind me. So the second stage of the three-stage sketching process is where I identify the varying tonal values within the subject by shading in. The third and final stage of a sketch is all about working on those finishing touches. I'm now going to pour over the finer details doodling really. 
I'm looking for flat areas that need their shape explaining and moulding and I'll do this by drawing in contours similar to what you'd see on a map. I'm looking for textures and cracks and rocks enjoying the freedom of improvisation and finally shading in those darkest most intense tones. Sketching is fun to do because you're not really governed by any rules. Let your pencil do some of the work for you and don't be too influenced by what's in the source photo. That way you're more likely to create something a little bit special.